So for this video I have a small bit of code written for the MSP430G launchpad. The launchpad of ADC is connected to an LM35 temperature sensor. This is oversampled, averaged and stored in the variable result. Additionally the variable filtered result is used which shows the output of a digital filter. This then allows both variables to be viewed side by side in the graphing tool. To access the graphing tool in Code Composer Studio, you need to enter the debug mode, which I am just launching now. The first step is to add some variables into the expressions window and also a breakpoint. So I'm going to add the result variable first. You want to highlight the variable, then right click to bring up the option to add a watch expression. Then I simply repeat this for the filtered result variable. Okay, next I want to add a breakpoint. So I right click on filtered result and then choose breakpoint. Now I want to edit the breakpoint, so I right click on the breakpoint marker, go to breakpoint properties, and then choose the action, which is currently remain halted, and change that to refresh all windows. Okay, the next step is to go back to the expression window, and then right click on one of the uh, watched variables, and then choose graph. There are various options for the graph which can be set up, which I'm just going to change now um, purely for the demonstration. Um, I won't go into detail in the video, there's some detail shown in the tutorial on the website, but for demonstration purposes this will just show off the graph feature quite nicely. Just going to repeat that step now for the other variable that I want to graph. Now I'll shift the graphs around a little bit um, so they can be viewed side by side. Um, so once that's done, I'm ready to resume the code. So the effects of the digital filter are immediately obvious here compared to um, the standard raw data. What I'm going to do is reset both graphs here effectively resetting the y-axis so we can get a, a more zoomed in or detailed view of the y-axis. This then allows the effect of the digital filter to be viewed which will become more apparent over time. It's also possible to see the watched expressions changing which is denoted by the yellow highlight. So when the x-axis reaches, or sample axis reaches 150, I'm going to apply heat to the LM35. Um, and I'm also going to speed the video up. So the actual trend um, and graphing data can be viewed 